Hey, Sebastian, you want to try going in this one? Hello, my name is Amy Sturkey. I am a pediatric physical therapist and I have questions. If you know me, I'm a question asker. Um, I'm uh, doing a series on vans, handicap accessible vans, and my friend Mark Masters, uh, he's answering my questions. So um, families sometimes have to try to figure out uh, vans, whether they get a side entry or a back entry. Can you, uh, well, can you first just show me, this is a back entry, right? This is a rear entry. A rear entry. A rear entry. A rear entry. All right, show me how this works. All right. The lever here. Basically the bumper that comes with it. Not a lot of weight to it. I went to feel. Oh, it's not that heavy. How much do you think it is? Maybe 20, 25? 25 pounds, maybe? 20, 25 would be my guess. And it folds up, up in. You have to take out the back row of seats to do, do this. Correct. It's got, and there's different applications. This is a little bit smaller than some of the rear entries. Some of them have a little bit more room. Um, you can see the space in here. If anyone was in a, a longer chair, a bigger chair, this would be tough to get them in and then actually close the ramp. And it looks like once you go in, at least in this mock-up, you can't turn around, turn sideways. Yeah, really none of the rear entries are gonna be able to turn around. You're gonna go in and then someone's gotta back you back out. And on the side entries, you can make it all the way up to the front passenger side. Can you do that from a rear entry? You cannot. So you're stuck in the back. You're, you're, you're put in the trunk, basically. Yes. But what if the kid was having a seizure or something while you're driving down the road? That's why this would not be a good application and I would feel bad if I put someone in a van like this knowing I should know, you know, how the client is. If it was a child who may need some assistance, you know, the spur of the moment, this would not be a good van to put them in. But you can get versions of this that, this is a manual one, you can get right. versions of this that are power as well. You can, not many of them. Most of the rear entries are going to be manual like this. And are they all fold up or do they some of them uh, in, what do you call those, in floor? No, they all fold out to some degree. There's different ways that they fold out. There's some that kind of fold all the way into the floor. Okay, well, um, sounds like there's negatives to this. Can you tell me what the positives are? The positives are cost effective. Uh, a lot of these are used almost like taxi cabs to run you know clients to a to an appointment or an assisted living center where it's just pick someone off a five minute drive down the road drop them off type of thing um, as far as a parent and having a child this this isn't what they would go with because you would want to be able to reach back and touch a child and, and do what you have to do to take care of them but it seems like it would be beneficial if you were I mean, not everybody has a wide driveway at home. So once, you know, if you don't have a wide driveway, you can't, you don't have someplace to go to the side, but this might be what you would need to get. Yeah, as far as getting the person, yeah, that makes sense. But if the application isn't good, once the child or the client's inside the van, then they just have to find a different place to load or unload. And seems like, uh, this, like sometimes there's not a handicap accessible space where there's an opening beside you. True. And I know people who will use two spaces, but when they come out, somebody's parked in the space beside them and they can't get their kid out. So it seems like this would solve that problem because you could go out into the parking lot. Yeah, which, which that can not be safe too, as far as the way people drive in parking lots. So there are some positives of this, but you're telling me there's a good bit of negatives to this. There is. I mean, it's, it's more of a specific need for this type of van. Most people, they're Go a lot the, more comfortable with the side, the side entry. entry. Now, there are some of the rear entries that are a little bit longer. There's full cuts where it's cut further on the floor. Uh -huh. um, and that's for people. Some chairs are extremely long uh -huh. if people are you know, on oxygen or different things. Um, and they, they're more laying down and sitting up. Right. Um, where a side entry, they won't be able to get in and turn 
forward to face forward. Okay. We would never want someone to just go in and not be facing forward in a van because that's not safe. So then there are times where they would have to have a rear entry because that's the only application that works for them. All right. And this one is a hatchback. So many vans always have a, a hatchback in the back. Is that right? Correct. They're always a hatchback. And that seems like there would be limitations then in terms of if you're tall and trying to get in here because of, it would be tricky. True. Absolutely. Uh, but you could go to a full size van and have double opening. Yeah, big like suburbans and Tahoes. There's different things that they could. Okay. And that really helps. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Thank you. All right. Well, I hope this was helpful for you too. And we'll look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. Oh, my star, Sebastian. If you liked this video and would like to be notified by email when the next video comes out, click the subscribe button here and click the golden bell icon and ensure notifications are enabled on your account.